something very light. Okay. Okay. Nadine is a fan of Coldplay. Oh my god. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> yes, I know. I know it's true because Nadine has a tattoo because of that favorite song from Coldplay. Yeah. Coldplay. Yeah. 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 What's the title of that song again, Nadine? Everglow. Everglow. Welcome to Ivy Day, and today I'm with my special guest, one of my favorite patients, uh, Nadine. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. She's so sexy. You're so sexy today. Actually, I'm so sexy. Thank you. I know. It's nice to have you here today, and I'm so happy because um, we're actually at the Ford Clinic. Yes. And we're actually uh, opening the Ford Clinic. Soon. So, I'm so happy because my first patient. Here at the Ivy Clinic for is Nadine, yeah. and also because um, before she used to come here, Dalaga. Yeah, this is her favorite Dito clinic. Dalaga. And actually, Dala. we were talking about it earlier, and then sabi ko, parang an tagal di ko naman lai <laughs> last time na nandito. Oh, sobrang tagal na pala. That was pre um, pre COVID, pre COVID pa, yes. pre quarantine. So that's March last year. I know. Fed. Sobrang tagal na. I know. Oh, Actually, we one year now, yes. and so we're excited because we're really opening the Ivy Clinic for it. Because Ivy Clinic for this is actually our flagship clinic. This was the first clinic that we had in 2009, and before the other clinics all came, yeah. uh, they came after. But this is really Keep my favorite like clinic. And so today, buena mano. Yeah. <laughs> my first patient <laughs> as we reopen is none other than the dean. Yay. Yay. I'm so excited. I know. What are we doing later? Okay, <laughs> so well, later. Okay, so for today, for Nadine's treatments, we're gonna do yes. her favorite treatments. Of course, body treatments. Because yeah. Nadine is known for her sexy <laughs> body. Actually, I was so jealous because she's wear she always wears two pieces. I can't. I cannot. I know. Kaya ko na Nadine. I'll, uh, I'll give you a run for your money. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So Nadine is my actually my peg for a two piece. Grab it, love. I know. Just recently, the guy yeah. came from the beach. I love. I love her color. So yeah. thank you. She really has the perfect body. And yeah. I always really admire. Okay, I'm working on it. And that's thanks. That's thanks to the M scalp. Yes. Yeah. True scalp also. But what else are we doing today? So yes, we're doing the M scalp again. Yeah. We're doing the true scalp, and we're doing, of course, our maintenance for your face. So yes. we're doing the uh, crystal black peel, and of course, the new IV evoke. Uh, because Nadine is always, um, always, she always wants her face to be very chiseled. Yes. That's true, especially here, support na to. Uh oh. Like I, I don't know, I don't know if it's if it's an obsession, but I like it when it's. Imagine na kalubog siya. Uh -oh. I don't know what you call it. I don't know what you call that, but yeah. Uh -oh. Contoured. Yeah, it's, it's super contoured. Uh oh. So. Because Nadine, I met Nadine when she was like <laughs> teens, pa. <laughs> diba? And she had the chubby, chubby cheeks, yes. pa on. And that I told Doctor yes. that was really my goal. I really wanted my face to. Ano, parang just to, to get rid of the, the fat. The baby the fat. Because Nadine wants to look like a woman. Yeah. I don't know. Because I look, I look, I look <laughs> so young. I was actually, um, even until now, people think that I'm, every time I ask them about my age, like, you know, they ask me how old I am, and then I'll be like, okay, guess. <laughs> and they're always like, uh, 20, wow. <laughs> so I still look young. I kind of want to look a bit more mature because, of course, I'm already 27. So 27 coming out? Yeah! <laughs> Like, parang 16, 17, 18. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't look 27 at all. Thank you. Oh, de ba? She still looks, ano, like I think a, it's a young girl. Jeans. But yes, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, Nadine doesn't age. But one thing about Nadine, and one thing I like about her, is because she always makes sure that she takes her look, takes care of herself. Yes. And she really looks after herself. Yes. And I always find Nadine to be the one to tell me, you know, I want to try this. Yeah. Want, she's so, she's yeah. so adventurous. Very adventurous with anything. So if there's... Um, if there are new machines or new treatments, it's either the doctor tells me or everyone here at the Ivy Clinic tells me or ako, like, I'll ask for some <laughs> questions. Like, you have something that's like this or like that? Like I want, you know, yeah. like, a lot of things. So. I know. So that's really nice. It's nice to work with Nadine because she's game for anything. Yeah. Like today. I hope she's yes. game for, <laughs> for, I'm so for excited today. for this game. Actually. I know. So <laughs> we're going to 
to do a little bit of a game before we start our treatments just to have fun. Yes. Because, um, you know, it's nice to just, you know, have a little bit of fun yeah. before our treatments just to bond a little bit and just to really know how much we know each, each other. other. I'm scared. <laughs> Specific nito. <laughs> so actually, I also don't know the questions. Um, and we're super clueless. I know we're clueless. And actually, for us, for me, Nadine, we'd rather not know anything. <laughs> spontaneous. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do a game called IV Believe It or Not. We have a set of statements on the ball, and we're gonna read it out loud, and then we're gonna say whether we believe it or not. So what I have here in my poll are the Torah Ivy statements and what she has in her bowl are my statements so we're just gonna find <laughs> out if these are real or not I know so I don't know what's inside okay. then <laughs> I'm so excited do you wanna go first though? okay so I'm gonna go first because I want to know Nadine's <laughs> statements because she's our guest so we need to know Nadine's statements yeah. Nadine first before we start actually the holy kale I made sure we have it because Nadine is always Yes, this is my favorite. Like every time I come here, every time I go to the Ivy Clinic, it's always, you know, the Ivy Cafe first. <laughs> you know, it's always the the tuna cheese melt and the holy grail combo. I know. Alam ko meron siyang favorite That's combination. My favorite, eh. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna feed her later. Pa'to mabasa yeah. ng pante eh, kasi na na inspire <laughs> talaga ako sa bago. <laughs> All right. So should, shall we begin? Yes. But I think we have to drink this nat. I okay. okay. Not the holy kill then. <laughs> And don't have nothing drinks. Let's have a little toast for 2021. <laughs> Deva, for a better 2020. I know. And for more beautification and treatment. Yes. And also uh, more bonding moments. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Deva. Because I love Nadine. I love how she's so spontaneous, so easy. Actually, we had dinner at your place. Deva, that was our really place. Fun. It was yeah. Yeah. I so know, that was fun. So we should do that again. I know. Okay, I know. so let's drink. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Para medyo makalma tayo ng konti. Alright, let me see. <laughs> I wonder what this is. <laughs> okay. Nadine won a Best Actress Award for the film Never Not Love You. Believe it or not. I would say of course I believe it because Nadine <laughs> is one of the best actresses. Thank you. We have and I'm not surprised if you will really get an award yeah. for your acting. Thank you. <laughs> so you have to answer Nadine. Is yes. it true? It's true. So Yay, I actually won a couple of awards for uh, Never Not Love You two years ago. Um, uh, so I got FAMAS, Best Actress, yes, uh, YCC, huh? and Orian. I went to Orian. Oh so wow. For the film. See, she's not true. only <laughs> sexy. But she's also very talented. <laughs> Thank you. Ay, ito. This is easy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Dr. Ivy is a perfectionist. Believe it or not. I believe it! <laughs> no, I super believe it. I mean, just, you know, seeing you and how you take care of all your patients and how you take care of you know, of all the clinics and, you know, the clinic is your baby. Yes, of So course. you going to all of the different clinics around Metro Manila, it's so obvious that you are a perfectionist. Thank you, so. thank you. Well, it's true. I'm really super OC. I really make pakailam with every single detail. To the point that sometimes I'm super pakailam. Because <laughs> I'm really super hands-on with everything from the patients to the interior decoration yeah. and I really want to also be part of everything and I yes. think it's important because when we do I mean I'm sure Nadine is also the same thing I yes. know Nadine I'm is really particular face. about everything yeah. I know with her music videos yes, I'm super I particular. know with her body and with her treatments yes. and with a lot of things and I think that's a good trait and I think it's nice that we have that in common oh something very light okay okay Nadine is a fan of Coldplay. Oh my god. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh, yes, I know. I know it's true because Nadine has a tattoo because of that favorite song from Coldplay. Yeah. Coldplay. Yeah. yeah. What's the title of that song again, Nadine? Everglow. Everglow. Yeah. And I wa we watched Coldplay um, three years ago really? in Korea, in South Korea. They were amazing. Like, oh. I was crying. Oh. <laughs> I was crying. I mean, all their songs are just about love yeah. in general. So, one, one thing about Nadine and I realize is that, you know, people don't see you, people see you as very strong, but you're actually a very emotional person. I am. Deva? Right? No? Yeah. Deva? Right? You, you really let your emotion and you enjoy letting your feelings. Yeah. And right? you allow yourself to yeah. feel things that yeah. you should feel. But right? that's how it's supposed to be, though. That's true. I mean, that's, 
I mean, experiencing life, like yes. everything about yes. it. Um, yeah. You know, just expecting life to, the f uh, uh, what do you call it, living life to the fullest. Yeah, I agree. I think you are living your life to yeah. the fullest, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm so happy that we can have this chat. I know. Right? So it's, I think it's therapeutic also. It is. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? It's so nice to do that you're able to share your feelings yeah. also. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yay. Okay. So, it's my turn. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm so nervous when it's because <laughs> I don't know. Doctora Ivy's Ivy skin is available not on the Philippines but all over the world. Believe it or not. <laughs> of course it's available. <laughs> I'm sure. It's so cool how people not only, you know, Filipinos and not only people in because I know you have a you have a branch in yes, Singapore. Yes, in Singapore, yeah. So I I can see people sometimes that who aren't from here and yes. I have friends who aren't from here. Who would ask me? Um, so I have a friend from really? the States. She actually came here. Okay. Just to, to do something, parang to get something done, to get her skin checked, or something like that. So she she asked me pa if I could book really? for her. Oh, so wow. she Get on the secretary, she Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I know that Ivy is international. Oh, thank so you. I believe it. I super believe it. Yeah, we're so happy because um, when we launched Ivy Skin just a few uh, months ago, we didn't expect to have a lot of following, not only in the Philippines, but internationally. And we have um, people all over the world from Europe to uh, to the Middle East, to Asia. Yeah. And they're not even Filipinos. Yeah. Um, one thing to My try. friend is in Philippines. Really? <laughs> what? Yeah, she, she was from the States. And wow. Then she, I say I would post about it, but she asked me about it, oh. and then she said, "Can you can you hook me up?" And then oh, I did. So. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's so happy. See, okay. Nadine has a total of ten tattoos. Believe it or not. <laughs> I know she has tattoos. Ten banads. Do my makeup. Do my makeup. Do my You added. Yeah. You added a few. Now this one is you, not the one on your this arm. Last year. Last year. Last year. Yeah. Last year. I think I have eleven. Oh, I saw it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 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 I can't go. <laughs> I mean, all of them are interesting, but I'll just pick for my favorites. Ito naman. This is um. Well, this is the lotus flower. We got this done because the lotus, kasi dog. What it? I mean, how a lotus flower? How like how it blooms? Yeah. Or how it grows is um, it comes from the ground oh. through the mud and oh. then uh, up like through the water and then up to the surface. So that's what it means. Oh, so I that's you. Is that's that you? That's the meaning of a lotus flower. Does it say so lotus signifies yourself? It, you yes, it's out? like going through all these challenges and all these hardships and eventually just like you know finding Ooh. the sun, finding oh. the light. Oh, that's nice. so. And no. you did that last year. So did you feel that you found yourself last year? I found a lot of myself oh. last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done. No one's done. No yes, one's done. yes, but at least. No? Yes. This is, uh, I got this um, one year after my brother died oh, on, the, yeah. on his um, oh. death anniversary. First death anniversary. Uh, it says nakaya pa kat na So it's oh. the song that had na kaya pa Oh, I see. Because yeah. that song, oh, no? that song oh. is his favorite song. Oh, it reminds me of him. Oh, oh, oh that's oh, nice. nice. Parang what I got from this line is parang innocence. Oh. Because it's like you're barefoot, so it's like parang walang kamuwang, walang alam, parang parang childlike. Yeah. And then you're amazed at everything that you see. It's like that. That's wow. what I got from it. Wow. So this one, the man, the moon. Um, I got this because of the song Everglow mm. uh, by Coldplay. Mm. So there's a line there that says, even though you're gone and the world may not know, still I see you celestial. So when I heard Everglow, or every time I listen to Everglow, mm. I think about all the people that are close to my heart that have already passed away. Mm. Wow. Because it's like, parang yun nga, just because of that song. So the rose, uh, this is one of my first, because I got two kaagat the first time. Really? Got that How old were you I, the, your first tattoo? I was 25. Okay. No, 24, I think. Somewhere. And what made you parang decide to have? I just wanted a tattoo. Okay. Um, and I I see tattoos as a work of art. Okay. As, you know, um, stories. Like every time I look at it, it's it's the story of a person yeah. or whoever's tattoo it is. You know, or story of the artist. 
So this is a, a flower. This a rose. Is a rose. And why rose? So I got the rose because um favorite ko kasi rose before. Oh, okay. I mean I have a lot of favorite flowers. I love flowers so um and every time I look at it, it's like I'm giving myself a rose. So oh, it's okay. more on self love because oh. at that time I was like struggling a lot on on that department. So <laughs> yeah, it's a rose. But every time I look at it, it's like I'm giving myself one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's and nice. And this is a this is a friendship tattoo. Oh, so it's Kiana, Andrea, my friend who's now in Sharga, and Lauren. Oh, who have this tattoo. oh so that's nice. Wow. And then, but my Chinese tattoo. Ha? This is Japanese. Ah, Japanese. Yeah, so, because because apparently um, I have Japanese blood. My oh. great great grandfather that was Japanese. So I think he, parang he, he married a Filipina oh. and then then wanna go back. So in short, like the Indian. So he, uh, what he did was he he married and then uh, he took his business partner's last name, oh. which was Luxray. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, so interesting. It says Nozomi Kumia because Nozomi and Nadine have the same meaning. They both mean hope. Oh, okay. So I just kind of, parang, I just took it na lang. Oh. <laughs> and then I said, okay, that's my Japanese last name. Yeah, but you are Japanese though. You kind of, A lot of people, no, I, never, I never really knew why oh, until my know. uncle told me about this oh, story. Wow, so, interesting. Okay. Parang it's so nice that you really document important yes. events in your life. Yes. And there's always special memories of yeah. people who touch your life. Yeah. Diba? And oh. this one, this one is parang um, grounded. Oh. I, what I wanted before, Doctor, I was... Yes. Um, a snake naman crawling on my, really? on my leg. But wow. I didn't do it. I'm yes. uh, crawling up my leg. Because it, it parang it signifies that I'm grounded because there's a snake. Like my foot. Oh, yeah, on the ground. ground. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but wow. I got this instead. Yeah. <laughs> but a small leg. <laughs> but it's nice because oh, most of my tattoos are on my arms. Yeah. So I see them. Yes. So in a way, they're all reminders. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So what else? Oh, my Maybe I should get one. <laughs> <laughs> but I it has to mean something. I know. Something. I you know. Dapat yata every after one child magpalagay ako ng grabe. Pero parang hindi na bayaan mo na. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nadine once said, "It's okay not to be okay. Believe it or not." Okay, well, I don't know there's a movie. Yeah. It's okay not to be okay. Yeah. Um, and if you said that before the movie, dapat pala ikaw na lang gumawa ng movie, no? Grabe. <laughs> Did you watch it? The, it's oh, I watched it. It's really a nice. Well, I don't think um, Nadine likes K dramas. Now you don't watch. K-drama. I haven't. I haven't gotten into the K drama wave yet. Believe it or not, I would say I believe it. But if you can explain, explain. so I, I've said that a couple of times oh. actually, because you know, Doctor, how um, I guess not just in the industry, but well, heavily on the industry, because uh, the reason why I said it is because. Being a celebrity, you know, mm. being in the showbiz industry, people expect you to just be like, you know, like okay all the time, smiling. Yes, and not, yes. You know, and us, because we're, we're human beings as well. We have emotions. We're going through a lot of things also. And so when I was going through a lot and I was still like heavily on, what do you call it? Working heavily mm. on the series and all. I couldn't really, sh- like I'm not, I wasn't, hindi naman I wasn't allowed, but I couldn't really sh- express myself. Mm. I, wasn't I, I was scared to show everyone vulnerability. Mm, I didn't course. want everyone to know that I was going through something. So I always like keep it in a in a dark room and mm. try not to, you know, show everyone that something bothers me or something is going on mm. with my life. One thing about you is that you have kind of people can't really see through you sometimes. But if you follow her on Instagram, it's your your posts are very it's, it's, it's not like what you see all the time. Na parang, parang it, talagang you, you can see your character. And one thing about that, is you you know it's hard to really. Parang you are so good at sort of hiding. Hindi naman, I don't think you're hiding your emotions. No, but I, I get what you're trying yes. to say. It's just that I don't put everything out on social media. Yes, and yes. I guess it's just. I guess it's just how I am personally. Yeah. I don't like oversharing things. So if I'm going through something or, you know, if I have like realizations and new lessons or something that's just going on in my life that I'm really happy about, I'm not the kind of person who would like do a long post yes. and share about it and tell everyone about it. I mean, it would be nice, but I'm just not 
really not that kind of person. Yeah, that's why I think what people like about you is there's always a sense of mystery. Because eh. they really, parang they know you, but, but they, they don't. This before, I always yeah. tell, I always tell Nadina, parang pe- I, people know you, but they don't really know I, you. I, they're kind of always thinking. You yes. Know? I, keep them, I keep them thinking. Exactly. What is going on in her life? Yeah. What is going on in her life? Yes. Parang, parang we don't know. Parang people don't know, but, but which is good in a way yeah. because parang, parang there's always that part of you that is for yourself. Yeah. Which is but actually... It makes them wonder which is nice. Ako, I like people who are also mysterious because it makes you wonder na, I wonder what she's... I know, what, what, what goes into her yeah. head when, you know, like all these things. It's interesting and it's it's refreshing because especially now that, you know, everyone's on social media, everything is on social media. And everything's out. Parang wala na, parang lahat na lang nilalabas. Yeah. Well, like, so, parang you, you know them inside and out yeah. so well. So I yeah. met a couple of people actually before the year ended who don't have social medias and it's really refreshing to, you know, get to know them and to kind of for them to share to you why they don't have social medias and they ako kasi my phone died um, <laughs> I one, so I lost all my phone but anyway I was out of town my phone crashed and then I couldn't turn it on so oh. um, the whole uh, the rest of the so wala ka wala you're, phone, you're, you're away for from... the rest of the vacation I didn't have a phone and I kind of understood na why these people didn't like social media and I enjoyed it so much yes. to the point na parang I don't know what it is should I download in this Instagram? Because I had to reset oh, my really? phone. Oh really? It's wala. It's really not. Oh my We had to reset my phone. Wow. So it wasn't retrievable anymore. So oh. all of my files are gone. But anyway, <laughs> it was so hard for me to get back into Instagram. Even until now, just, you know, like posting. I, I haven't checked my Instagram today. Yeah, actually, I remember <laughs> me and Nadine were having this conversation. And she was telling me, you know, I don't check my phone every day. Yeah. In fact, Nadine, if I can share, yeah. that you check your phone every three days, the bar, yeah. the bar, you're not the type to the social media. She's not really always in her phone. phone. <laughs> and she has a timer. Oh, a timer. if you can share an that. Hour. So I only have one hour in a day for social media, all all platforms. Yes! Oh my god, finally. It's <laughs> Ooh! Oh, Dr. Ivy oh, wants more kids. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, Mads? Pwede pa ba? Pwede pa. I'm only 25, so pwede pa. <laughs> I know you're 28, so I must be 30. Yeah. I can't, I can't be younger than you. You want more kids? What do you think? Ikaw, Mads, how many kids do you want in the future? Ooh, oh my god, that's a oh. good question. Oh, that's a good question because Yung, yung answer ko dyan, it changed so yes, much. Yes. Because of like everything that has been going on, or just me trying to be aware or trying to understand what it is that, that's happening around me. So before, um, every time people would ask me that, I would say two. Okay. But now, I'd say, wala. Really? Yeah. I'm no. Really? No. Oh. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yes. That is, that's where my head's at. Okay. Right now. Yes. Just because, you know, like, there's so many people na like, yes. like on earth and um, I do believe that you know that there are a lot of kids yes. who don't have parents and who need taken care of so I feel like if I do want to have a kid I might just adopt oh wow so wow yeah. that's so nice sustainability <laughs> oh that's so nice yeah. you're really a unique person yes I mean but because you you think differently, yeah. But there's always a reason why you think that yeah. way. And I mean, if if I do get pregnant, yes. you know, I'm not gonna say no yes. to that. If I get pregnant, then I'll I'll roll with it. But like right now, that's where my head's at. I would rather adopt Angelina oh. Jolie. Ange- oh my, actually, I see Angelina Jolie in yeah. here. You know, a little bit of a rebel. Yeah. Na, 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 pero, yeah. pero uh, very deep. Such a good like heart. That too. Yeah. With a good Such heart. A good heart. Yeah. And and very you know very insightful. Yeah, the bad person, no? Yeah. I'm learning a lot from you. Yeah, yeah. it's really, you know, I am because it's nice to learn from people who's who, who's different, who has a yeah. unique way of thinking, and I respect, I respect the fact that you you don't, you're not afraid to be different, the mm-hmm. Because some people they just want to conform. Yeah, but I, all I like about you is you don't conform. You have your yeah. own way, and yeah. you're proud of it, yeah. the bad, yeah. and that's nice. Ito na, let's talk about surgery. Okay. But okay, okay. Nadine had rhinoplasty, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc.